Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a special warm welcome if you're new here. In this very full bumper video, I'm sharing seven key factors to consider with do's and don'ts of how to instantly and easily look 10 pounds slimmer. Now I'm a big advocate of looking and feeling our very best. That's the reason why I created this channel, to help everyone with this, of course. Now I certainly don't think that looking and feeling our best is about achieving a certain body shape or size. I really believe we should all embrace our own bodies. But as I've got older though, I found I've got kind of thicker through the middle and lots of other places, and I never had a waist to begin with anyway, so I'm always hunting for ways to create the illusion of a waist and slimness in general. So I want to share my tips and hacks with you today that I've developed over the last few decades, quite a few. If you wish to incorporate some of these instant tips into your outfit choices, then I've got a lot of do's and don'ts in this video. Now, just an important point actually, some of the don'ts that I'm sharing are actually really fine and would look lovely but I call them don'ts here if your goal is mainly to look slimmer. So let's get straight into my first style tip which is proper fit. One of the best ways to look slimmer and to look better overall to be honest is to wear clothes that fit you properly. So my first do is do make sure that your clothes fit properly and flatter your body shape. The clothes that you wear and the way that you wear them can make you look 10 pounds lighter in seconds. So for example this red top that I'm wearing here, it fits on the shoulders, fits on the bust line, has a suggestion of a waist but isn't tightly constricting. So if a piece doesn't fit, get a tailor to alter it to fit better. After all, it's pretty unlikely that all, let's say size 14 clothes, fit every size 14 lady. We have myriad shapes and sizes and no brand can really deal with this. So this is where the tailor comes in and is so valuable. So for my first don't, don't wear oversized baggy or ill-fitting garments because they'll just add bulk and width. Big pieces just make us look bigger, no two ways about it. The eye is very deceiving and assumes that the size of the item you're wearing is actually your size. So if you're wearing something voluminous and baggy, well, you just look a little bit larger than you are. So on a similar note, don't add too much volume. I would suggest a maximum of one item per outfit with a bit of volume. This could create a really balanced look. So if you wear a pair of loose slouchy trousers, team them with a fitted top or a flowy blouse with a more fitted skirt. Conversely though, don't buy clothes that are too small for you. I have to confess to having done this maybe a couple of times, maybe more. Um, it's just a sense of satisfaction to be able to fit into a smaller size, isn't it? So I fitted into it, but that didn't mean that I looked good in it. So I seriously advise not to stuff ourselves into clothes that don't fit. They accentuate the lumps and bumps on anyone, basically, even if you're really young. So rule of thumb, if you need help to get into it, it may be too small. <laughs> now, here's a really big one. Do, if you wish, wear shapewear. I know it's not for everybody, but it's especially useful if you want to look extra svelte for a special event. And we are coming into the wedding season, not necessarily our own, but maybe a relative. Um, and even if you're not a fan of shapewear, do wear underwear that really fits. Wear a bra that gives you full coverage without bulges. Invest in a properly fitted bra and get a bra fitting too. Select a bra that supports and lifts, and this will immediately improve your posture and will slim down your silhouette. So for my second big styling point to look slimmer instantly, number two, enhance your natural assets. So do enhance your natural assets. There's nothing like showing off a natural asset for a real confidence boost. Highlighting your best bits can draw attention away from the areas that you feel less confident about. Do show off your slimmest bits. Often these are wrists, ankles, neck, throat. Leave a little bit of skin showing. Reveal your wrists to really slim down an outfit. And the ankles work in the same way as well. So here you can see the big difference showing ankles makes to the overall effect of the outfit and how slim I look in them one and not the other. As you can see, the high vamp tan shoes which cover the feet make the whole outfit look bulkier and make me look wider. Whereas when I wear the ankle grazer jeans and the shoes which do not cover the foot, the whole effect is slimmer. So do be careful also of the position of pockets on your jeans and trousers. This is an easily overlooked one. If your pockets are bigger than your hand, they may make your bottom look larger. Instead, select jeans or trousers with pockets that are positioned higher up. This will lift the whole look of the bottom and make it look elevated. And let's face it, who doesn't want an elevated bottom? Another thing to use strategically is do use accessories strategically. When wearing any accessories, if your goal is to look slimmer, think vertical and think upwards. You're trying to draw the eye straight and up. So pendant necklaces, scarves, belts, that kind of thing. 
Okay, let's move on to my third big point, which is monochrome. Dressing in one head-to-toe colour, or at least a tonal variation on one colour, is the easiest slimming trick that there is. It creates one long, clean line and it doesn't break the body up into separate chunks. It makes us look taller and is especially brilliant for petite ladies. So do wear monochrome or tonal outfits. As you can see here, don't always assume that you have to wear dark colours to look slim either. Of course, darker colours do work, but don't feel restricted to this. Do try to wear lighter colours, especially for spring and summer and even winter whites. Don't be afraid of them, they're always incredibly stylish. Do experiment with different shades of the same colour family as well. A colour of your choice that you love and feel really comfortable in. And if you're worried that an outfit of the same colour will look a little bit bland or boring, you can create interest in the outfit with different textures without taking away from the overall monochrome effect. So, on to my fourth big style tip, which is create the illusion of length. Oh, and just before I go on to that, if you are enjoying this video, which I really hope you are, uh, please do give it a thumbs up on the like underneath the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you're new here, I'd love for you to join our community as it really helps the channel to keep going. I share styling tips and inspiration on what works and what doesn't work every week. And also, I love to see your comments. We've got a fabulous community here. So thank you so much for that. So back to my fourth point, which is create the illusion of length. There are so many ways to do this. Firstly, do wear columns of colour. As you can see here, wearing columns of colour is one of my personal favourite ways to look more slender. And you can see with the outfit, the central column of the body, even though I'm wearing white, looks much thinner as it's framed by the blue long line cardigan. It's a really easy and simple way to look about half your size. This technique just draws the eye inwards on your torso. Another thing is do wear vertical lines, vertical patterns and vertical seam lines as well. And do create vertical lines with jackets, cardigans or shirts, particularly when you wear them as a third layer, as you can see here. One thing that you shouldn't do is don't create horizontal lines across your torso. For example, a thick belt. Always go for a thinner one as it creates a much thinner effect for the whole body. And don't wear high contrast outfits. In other words, a big contrast between the colours of your top and bottom. As you can see in this outfit, this is a lovely chic look, but if my goal is to look slimmer, the two contrasting colours of black and white just cut me up at the waist. They interrupt the flow of the eye up and down the body. So if your main goal is to look slimmer, you might not want to wear totally contrasting colours for your top and your bottom. The long line colour is what it's all about. So if we look at these two outfits side by side, you can see clearly what the difference is. So this outfit has the same problem as we've just seen with the black and white one. Although the top and jeans are in the same colour family, in other words variations on blue, there is too much contrast between the dark and the light so it cuts me in half. What works better is wearing similar colours uh, all the way up and all the way down your body. So as you can see here it's dark all the way. It's not the same colour but it's dark. So it's much more slimming and much more lengthening. So my fifth point to look instantly slimmer is necklines. Another way to create the illusion of length and slimness is with the neckline that you choose to wear. For example, this red top, do wear V necklines and do wear scoop or round necks. They have a similarly flattering effect, draw the eye up the slimmest part of your neck and throat and also create a vertical line on your body. So don't wear high necklines. Turtlenecks or boat necks also make your face and neck look shorter and wider. Now I actually created a whole video on this in relation actually to how to deal with a big bust, but I focused a lot on the effect of wearing high necklines compared with V or scoop necklines, which you might like to look at when you've watched this video. So my sixth point is proportions. These are key. Balance your outfit with proportion. You may have seen in the short video that I created this week, which is a little teaser for this big video, but one key point I mentioned there is proportion, particularly with trousers and your bottoms. Do wear mid or high rise trousers or jeans. This gives the effect of length and slimness. So don't wear low rise. They will give the effect of cutting you off across your middle and shorten the look of your legs. So do wear straight leg, boot cut or flared jeans that go all the way down to your shoe and that don't cut off your ankle. Also, do suggest a waist. Now, I'm not saying you should tuck everything in frantically, as I know this doesn't work for many of us, but just a suggestion of a waist is always more slimming. So a top which is slightly cut in at the waist, like the one I'm wearing, or a jacket which gives the illusion of a waist is also a good technique. 
do create the illusion of a skinnier waist, as I mentioned before, with a thin belt, not a thick one. And as you can see here, a thin one just draws the eye in. So for my seventh point, create the illusion of height. So not only do we need to add length, we also need to add height. So do wear heels, even low heels. I find that low heels of maybe a centimeter or an inch can create a real uplifted effect. You don't have to wear high heels all the time. Just a little heel or perhaps little kitten heels um, are absolutely perfect for this. Also do wear pointed toe shoes, which lengthens the look of your feet and your legs. Don't wear rounded toe shoes, as this has the effect of stopping the eye suddenly and bluntly. Do match trousers and shoe colour. So you can see the big difference here that this makes to an outfit. But if in doubt, go for nude shoes that are a similar colour to your skin tone. So the last point I want to make here, and arguably maybe the most important, is do pay attention to your posture. This is an often forgotten but instant way to look slimmer. Pulling your body up or your shoulders back creates a natural slimness, pulls in the stomach and is really flattering. So with that, it's been a packed programme, I know, lots and lots of do's and don'ts, but all the links to the items that I mentioned and the things that I wear are in the video description if you scroll down under this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video, ladies. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and as I said before if you're new here and you haven't subscribed it would be wonderful to have you in our lovely little community here and I hope you have a really amazing day and an uh, amazing week and I will see you really really soon for a short video and of course my big one next weekend lots of love bye <laughs>